Hello everyone. Guess what I got today? I got it today. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to see what's inside the box. Stay tuned. Okay, like my clothes was like super dirty in the box. I decided to run it again. I threw the water. I added new water. I'm adding new water. I added more soap and fabric softener and everything. So we're doing the second one. And by the looks of it, it looks pretty good because a lot of nasty, dirty stuff is actually coming out. Now we're just going to let it run for the second run and pretty good. It's been about 15, almost 20 minutes. Um, and here are my dry towels. They are almost, almost completely dry. So this is cutting my drying time and about half. Because I know that in about 10 more minutes, that lawn, that towels should be completely dry which is like awesome for me. So I really, really did enjoy it. I do like that the top is, looks about the same size. The spinner does look a lot bigger than the other one that I had. What I do like is that the water does, what do you call it? What I do like is that the water does pump out of the Okay, so that means I don't have to have it on top somewhere where I have to pump the water out. So that is like the best for me. I get to move it around with the dolly that I have. It's probably about the size of my counter of my sink. And I do like that it did come with a little hinge, which I'm not using, but it still comes with it. and. This is my second load that I'm doing. And well, y'all know everything after that. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Today I received my um pipettes machine. And this one is supposed to be the 26 pound tub. So let's give it a check out. Let's see what we get. Okay. And my finger so it's kind of big okay let's this is a tub the tub is kind of the same size as the other one which is kind of hmm. this is a lamp catcher how do you how do you open this like seriously how do you open 
make the left catcher. Uh -uh. Pull back. That's very weird. So you would have thought if you push down. Oh, it's just a simple. <laughs> I'm over here trying to pull on it, but it's very simple. Open and close. Okay, so let's put back the lid catcher. And let's read the manual. Well, not literally read the manual, but. Oh. Okay, so you get one of these for your hose. Um, you get one of these cards. I guess to warranty card to register it. Now this is supposed to be the 26 pound tub. And like I said, it looks kind of the same size as the one that I had before, which has me kind of confused for real. Mm. There's the thunder. Okay, well, um, find out. Oh, there's a little drain hose here. It's supposed to drain your water. Okay, so I had bought one of those little trolley thingies because I ain't pushing it. I'm seriously not pushing it. Hmm. It's a lot smaller than what it initially said on the box, which has me confused. I'm gonna have to measure this. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna first off, get the water hose. We're gonna get that out. We're gonna connect, I believe it's this side to here. And we will be connecting the other side to my water. To my water sink, restroom, bathroom. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So I'm opening up all the cold water. It is coming from there, as you can see. I am going to start by the phone. I'm not adding the temperature phone. It only holds up to like four towels, so I really wanted to hold up the five towels. So we're gonna start off with one towel. Two.
three. Oh, sorry. I didn't make that one. There we go. And I'm using only cold water. Oh my god, there was a mirror inside my cup. Oh, okay. I believe we were on three. supposed to be um, the 26 pound washer it's supposed to be a lot bigger than the other one that I had on my review I did return the other one for a simple fact that I wanted to see if this one was bigger to be able to hold the five towels I'm only missing one more towel normally I won't be doing my towels here but I just want to see how many towels it can actually fit Going. Like I said, right now I got the four towels in there, so so far so good. I just believe I need to let them have more water. that I had bought, which was the, um, oh she's gone, can't remember the name of the other one. Well, the main problem I had on the other one was that when it drained, you had to put it like up on the toilet for it to drain because other than that, it was not going to drain. That's why I returned it and I got this one because this one, you can actually have it here on the ground. Well, I have it on the dolly. And you can connect to your toilet to be able to drain it out. Okay, there you go. There's my four towels. It's going to be good. I'm about to put in my last towel in, which is my total five towels that normally were five in the family. I don't think I was going to be able to do the five towels. Let's just give it some time. Oh, maybe it will. Yes, it will. Yay! I got my five towels. Normally, I wash my towels every day. So, we're five of us. I like to shower early in the morning. And once we're done with the shower and the towels, I like to wash them and dry them and have them ready for the following day. Okay, so we're gonna let this do its washy wash and let it do its thing. But more than likely, it does look like it's going to be able to. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Or maybe it's not going to be able to do the five towels like we had thought. Oh, maybe yes. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the water. That is enough water. There we go. Okay, the five towels do fit, but I believe I won't recommend it. There we go. struggling a little bit. Yeah, it's struggling. This poor baby. 
So we'll just get one out, spin it out, and we'll wash it later. Okay, let's see. Which towel should I get out? Give me a second, baby. Give me a second. Let's get the most the biggest one. I say that if you have five regular towels, it will be awesome. But I guess because I'm there, you go. You know what? Let me put in another regular towel. Or let me put in my two kitchen small towels. I want to say if you do have, yeah, it, it'll do this. It'll work. It'll work perfectly. Just don't put too much of a heavy towel because I guess that will be a very big problem. And if you have like this, this is my husband's towel. He loves his towel. It's like a huge ass towel. I guess you can count this towel as like for like two because it's so huge. There we go. And close the lid. We will do a stand. So far, so good. Well, I won't have you here for the whole thing. Hey, y'all. Okay, hey, y'all. Welcome back. We're about to drain. There we go. That is what I wanted for the drain to come through the side. That is what I wanted, that's what I was looking for, and I believe I got it. Hey y'all, so we started with the drain. That is what I was looking for, something that would drain straight to the toilet and I didn't have to be, you know, um, doing that whole lifting the washer into a toilet to be able to drain out on the, on the tub. So we got this. Okay, now I'm just started hearing that noise and I don't like it. I like to see one more time. That's the pump doing its thing. And I believe we are done. I will. Let's see over here. Oh, we still got some water. I don't know where it's, where's the drain at. Yeah, there's no problem, I'm lifting, getting the water out. Okay, one more time. Turning the drain off. We're re turning the water back on to do the rinse cycle. And then after the rinse cycle, we'll be spinning it out to see how many actual towels I can put into the spinner, spinning it, you know, and checking it out. So I'll do that. Draining. 
I'm about to drain the towels. So we got one in here. Mm -mm. Oh, that's the cutest towel. Kids need to get better or smaller towels. I got two towels. And I believe I can put in my kitchen towel. Yes, I believe I can put in my two kitchen towels. It says to make sure you spread them out equally. So that's what we'll be doing. Put the Okay, this plastic is super hard. It's really hard. There we go. Okay. So let's do the spin. It does say for you to wait until it's completely, completely stopped. So that's what we're going to do. Just gonna wait. This will be dried very fast. I am so serious. Everything is just damped. Just, just damped. It's not soaking wet or anything. It's just completely damped. Let me finish getting the water out from over here. Let's see if it gets the rest of the water out or is it going to continue to... That is one question I would like to know. Okay. It has a little bit of water, but it's not a lot. I guess we have to give it some chance to get it all out. And then that does a pretty good job. Okay. Let's get it all out. Okay. So, back into the spinner. Let's spin my other two towels and put them in the dryer and let's see how long it takes for them to dry. We're back. Okay, test number two. The reason why I bought this was for our underwear and socks. That is the reason why I bought this new washer. So here we go. Oh, look, another towel. Kitchen towel. So let's check it out. Let's see if this is worth the money. Which I know it is. 
because that is the reason I bought it. As my regular washer. Yes, I have my kids' sports bra, socks, underwear, and stuff like that. Another reason why I wanted this also was because my children, even though uh, my husband and I, and I go to shadow, have the shot. My little children still don't, so I like to wash the face mask. We still use our face mask. Oh, for example, put on it. this into the dryer Pretty, and I'm not saying anything bad but hurricane season is coming and you know the hurricane season when it hits it hits and when you have no washer no electricity in your house you know that you can run this small little machine with a regular outlet and it's gonna wash and spin you know, without any problem. That is another reason why I got this. Because we got it prepared. Because even though we're here in Houston and sometimes this electricity does go out and it does go out for days, weeks at a time and sometimes even like a month to a month and a half. So to be able to have my own little small washer, you know, when there is no electricity okay towels are going into the dryer here we go let's we're gonna put it in 30 seconds let's see how how it does and we'll continue watching this and we'll be back 